of pesto because we have a very good harvest of basil in our garden. So I'm going to show you a very healthy spread dip or whatever you want to use a sauce made of made of uh, basil which is known as pesto. So the main ingredients for this are two cup packed fresh basil leaves, two cloves of garlic. You can add the leaf modify as per your taste. One fresh chili, green chili. If you don't have green chili, you can use the crushed red pepper and the nuts of your choice. You can use pecans, almonds, pine nuts, whatever you have in your pantry. So right now I'm using pecans, lemon or lime juice, salt as per taste, approximately half a cup of olive oil or avocado oil, whatever you have in your pantry. So now the first step is we have to toast our nuts. So let's go to the gas and toast them. We just have to toast, toast them. Don't over burn them. They just lightly toasted because this gives a very, very nice taste. So I'm doing it in a very low flame. So our nuts are toasted. They are nice and brown. So let's blend them everything together. If you are patient, you can use mortar and pestle. But right now it's dinner time, so I have to be quick. So I'll use the blender. So let's put everything in the blender. First, your basil leaves. And the two cloves of garlic. Chopped green chilies. Fine nuts. Salt as per taste. I pour it like this because I have good approximation of adding salt. You can pour olive oil or little by little so that it gives a good froth. Squeeze in your lemon juice. And let's blend it slowly. Some people like it crunchy, some people like it very very fine. So it depends on your choice. If you like smooth, you have to blend it for like 45 to 1 minute. Or if you want crunchy, you can use model and pestle. So let's see, it's so nicely blended, it's smooth. And the smell is so good. Uh, I normally use it in my salad dressing or pasta or uh, you can use it in a sandwich. And in my future recipes, I'll share whatever, what all can we do with this. So I hope you will make and you will enjoy this. If you are a cheese person, because I, am, I have allergies so I don't eat even cheese. So if you want, you can add parmesan cheese or any cheese of your choice. But I like it like this only, so I hope you will like it. Thank you.